Okay, JF, why am I here on Road Testament again? Alex is out of town once again. We refuse to do another webcam episode. He is flying back today or tomorrow. We'll do three episodes in a row at, starting next week. But you are here because we are speaking about Toyota and the FT86, or rather Scion in the U.S., and you used to work for Toyota. I used to work for Toyota about 10 years. I did, I did 10 years at Toyota. <laughs> so this should be interesting. As long as you don't have any don't compete or anything you can't disclose about the company that no i i didn't sign anything i had a good experience at toyota and for those of you who are watching who may be from toyota <laughs> i'll be kind but i'm going to be fair and we're going to be honest it's funny how that's the first thing you say as it's all downhill from here <laughs> yeah this is going to be bad <laughs> <laughs> Leo, we went to the New York Auto Show and we saw the third iteration of the FT86, this time under the Scion badge as a FRS. Um, you had a few choice words when we were there. It's either the car that's going to save the brand oh, yeah. or the car that's going to completely kill it. Yeah, well, um, you know, a lot of people like the car. A lot of people want to like what that FT86 is. It's it's a throwback to the old rear-wheel drive the cool AE86, car. Yeah. AE86, yeah. AE86. Yeah. And everyone's struggling with the, the Scion branding. Um, I think... I th Scion is struggling with the Scion branding. <laughs> yeah. I think their sales are down 65% now. <laughs> I'm not... I mean, I, th I don't think the old people are buying the box anymore. So... Do you... Uh, so, we both we both like the FT86. Look, I, yeah, I want to like that car. Yeah, um, I think it. I think it a does a lot of good things for Toyota. I question how it's going to help Toyota as a Scion, and I have a lot of questions on what this car is really going to be as a performance car. You rattle off some specs in one of the earlier Fastlane mm -hmm. dailies, yep. and there's a shadow of Subaru hanging out there with things they should be. Yeah. Um, and, and we mentioned that Scion always is about customization, but it feels like. This is going to be really a tuner platform, yeah. so you better set your expectations at a certain level for what you get coming out of the dealership. Every version I've seen so far looks great. I love the way looks it looks. Great. Styling is right where it needs to be to, get, to engage a younger audience. And it looks like an old uh, 2000 Toyota. I mean, it, it has... Yeah, and the, the question here in my mind is, what is the Subaru relationship going to be? We've seen, we haven't seen the Subaru version of this. Now, they've always stuck to the claim of having all-wheel drive cars, but they've said initially that this will be the first Subaru that will not be all-wheel drive. And at some auto show, remember Subaru showed they a clear showed, body with yeah, the chassis, yeah. two-wheel drive chassis. Two-wheel drive. I can't believe they're abandoning all-wheel drive. But why would you have two car manufacturers pretty much producing the exact same car? I can understand if Subaru did an all-wheel drive car to, to, to be a throwback to the 2.5 RS, okay. and then the, the Toyota Scion iteration would be the rear-wheel drive. But now that they're both exactly the same, I have no reason why I would buy the Toyota if the Subaru was exactly the same because of the branding. Well, you guys got to help us out in terms of updated comments. I, I checked some of the sites. I'm not sure I'm completely current. What we think we know is that this car will be branded Toyota in the rest of the world, yep. Scion here. Yep. I'm not 100% sure that Subaru is going to bring this car to America. That's very true. And I'm not sure we've seen any confirmation of that. They had that model. Where was it? Geneva, uh, something yeah, like that? Yeah, somewhere you're, it wasn't, it hasn't come to the it was U.S. It's not yet. the U.S. But the Subaru people we've spoken to have never said it wasn't coming to the U.S. <laughs> you're right. So, you're right. So it doesn't really make sense. I think there are a lot of un, unanswered questions. Now, from a branding perspective, is Toyota making the right move of putting it under the Scion brand? When I left Toyota in 1995, Toyota was talking about in, infusing personality into the brand. They felt they had quality, reliability, and durability, but no real personality and passion. Like Hyundai has adopted with things like their design and, and, and some of their styling and, and, and things like that. Okay, so now cut to the latest version, and, uh, and the head of Toyota is talking about doing those things, and they build this car as kind of step one. Mm -hmm. I mean, he races the LFA and, mm -hmm. and whatever, and, but this is the first car that's supposed to show that personality. Mm -hmm. Yet somewhere along the line in America that is still a number one volume market for Toyota globally, they abandon the connection of personality to the Toyota brand mm -hmm. and give it a Scion and either hope the kids get it or, or something works. So I'm not, I'm not buying it, quite frankly. I think that they should just forget about Scion, rebrand those cars back as Toyotas, and have the FT86 as their halo car to bring young people back into the brand. And then as they get older, they'll step up to something you know different. Maybe they'll go over to Lexus, whatever it may be. And then this whole Prius debate, we're getting into Prius. I think 
I think they're setting themselves up for too many brands, too many different organizations, a lot of red tape between all the different organizations. I, I will only say this. I, I've been in corporate meetings where reversing direction gets to be a really tough discussion sure. and decision. And you're absolutely right. Um, Hyundai just yeah. made the decision that they're not going to have a luxury brand. Uh -huh. They're going to build everything under the Hyundai Which name. Which is a great idea, I think. It's simple. It's concise. It Toyota, yeah. and they're not alone, but Toyota was one of those companies that bought into being the next GM, and we're going to have different lines. Yeah. Lexus, Scion for the kids. <laughs> yeah, how well did now, that work for GM? <laughs> <laughs> well, according to who you talk to, and the government lets wipe the slate clean <laughs> with the financial etch sketch it's working perfectly. I think there are two questions no. we need to ask the audience. Is If there was both a Subaru and a Toyota, exactly the same car, which one would you buy? Even if, the, even if one of them were at a premium, which one would you buy? If so so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break the question up a little more. Yeah. If they're identical cars, which one would you buy? And I'm going to start by asking you. Yeah. If they're identical cars, which one would Subaru. you buy? Subaru. Okay. If the Toyota stays rear-wheel drive, uh -huh. but Subaru stays true to their heritage yeah. and shows up with a little turbocharged all-wheel drive thing, and it's not going to be priced uh, you know, out of the stratosphere. You're making the Subaru even better. You're making the Subaru even better. <laughs> Which is what I want. Now, the question is, if you made the Subaru worse, I would still buy the Subaru because I want that branding. I don't want to have a Scion. I don't want to own a Scion. If it was a Toyota, would you buy it? Maybe. I fear he's the majority. And yeah. I fear that there's been enough damage to Scion right now that they've made it tougher for this FRS yeah. to be successful. Yeah. I've seen, I've, I've heard from so many people, I've read so many comments that says, car's cool, Scion brand, eh, eh, eh. Exactly. I think that's exactly the question. I think that's now the question we asked to you and pose, would you buy a Scion, a Toyota, or a Subaru? The first thing I'd check is the badges, the Scion badges. Are they are they glued on? <laughs> or do they have those little holes that I have to do some body work? If I can peel those things off... That's very true. I, I, I'll unbrand I'm that a, car in a heartbeat. I'm a de-badger as well. I would totally de-badge that car. And those of you at uh, Toyota, the uh, administrative office, the MR2s that I ripped all the badges off <laughs> on my company car, uh, that was me. <laughs> You apologize for that? No. Okay. No, they sent me a bill. 